Hey everyone, welcome back to another Undead World Hero Survival video. We're going to talk about the 5 best starter heroes that you should know, especially if you are a beginner, and also they may be used in the mid-game as well. Okay, so let's um, try to take a look at our heroes here, guys. So in the index, um, I'm talking about the unique heroes unique plus heroes that we have here um they are in the middle tier in terms of our tiering for the heroes that we have and let us start with the uh, rollo okay rollo is a i think a social media influencer and uh, he is with the sugar reapers guys and he is a melee hero so let's take a look again at his um um, scale so how I rollo so passive when rollo st standard attack hits the same target four times the target gets the troll bait debuff so again at level two activates after three attacks on target instead of four and at level three doubles the troll bait debuff per target so for his next skill which is like and subscribe okay uh, Rolo calls on two followers to attack with their overpower skill. Enemies with troll bait debuff get hit with sneaky assault. So at level 2 of this skill increases damage from sneaky assault and level 3, 3 followers are called. So this is actually what makes him good as one of your beginner heroes. So before I proceed, um, I've identified these heroes because they're easier to level up. They're easier as well to get copies of, and um, they can be more flexible in your lineup. It's not as if that you're going to just use them in, in the beginning. You can actually use them in the mid-game because, um, as you can see, their maximum level is going to be 220. And his, um, let's go back to Rolo, guys. His ultimate skill is Rock and Rolo. Sprays 5 bullets for 175% power each. And adds troll bait debuff to enemies. Rollo's followers tar followers target troll bait enemies with their sneaky assault skill. Okay, at level two of this ultimate is going to be increase of a of the attack power to 200%. Level three is at 225 increase, and level four is at 250 increase in attack power. Okay, so let's move on to the next. Our next would be little dave so little dave one of the most peskiest uh, heroes um in terms of a starter very 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 good um tank guys and he belongs to uh, the blue banshees so let's take a look at his first skill so liking the odds recovers three percent hp whenever the number of enemies decreases five second cooldown so level two of this skill recover 4% HP and level 3 decreases the cooldown. Okay. Cru cru crucial Taunt is his next skill. Taunts enemies drawing their attacks for 4 seconds. Taunt lasts for 5 seconds for level 2 and decreases cooldown for level 3. So again, he has Taunt and he has Recover HP perfect for a starter tank. Last is his ultimate skill which is Sugar Rush. Scarfs down an emergency ration to recover 6% of HP per second for 4 seconds. Level 2 is 8% HP. Level 3 is at 10% HP per second. And level 4 is going to be 12 HP for, uh, per second. Okay, so we have Rolo, we have Little Dave. Then our next is going to be Axel. So Axel... Um, our third hero in um, our starter heroes is going to be an AoE hero. He also belongs to the Blue Banshees. And let's take a look at his skills, guys. Spare ammo. Um, passive. This is a 1.5% attack power per enemy on the battlefield. Stacks up to 10 times. At level 2, attack power enemy increases to plus 2%. And level 3 stacks up to 15 times instead of 10 Next is going to be High Caliber, fires a powerful shot, dealing 160% um, attack power and knocking back enemies. At level 2, increases 
to 175% attack power and level 3 increases to 190% attack power. His ultimate skill is Exploding Ram, fires a small grenade dealing 350% attack power and knocking back enemies. So he's more bit of a crowd control and he actually is specialized in, in the horde of zombies as well. So level 2 increases to 370% attack power. Level 3 is at 390 and level 4 is at 410% uh, uh, th attack power increase. Okay, so that's uh, 3 down guys for our starter heroes. Next would be... Who's our next one? Okay, I forgot to actually... Um, I went past Doc. So Doc is... A supporter so all, all healers are in the supporter class then you have uh, he's actually from the sugar reapers as well is uh, first skill is do no harm it's a passive so reduces damage taken by 5% level 2 is a damage reduction of uh, taken by 10 level 3 is 15% next is his uh, next skill is adrenaline the ally with the lowest HP gets a healing boost equal to 40% of his attack power. Level 2 is at 500% of his attack power. And level 3 is 550% of his attack power. This means you need to boost his attack stat to get the most of his healing abilities. And his mystery meds is his ultimate skill. Don't ask what he hands you. Just take it for a healing boost. So equal to 70% of attack power. Level 2 is 780 percent Level 3 is at 840 and level 4 is at 900% attack power. So again, you need to boost his attack uh, skill for you to maximize all of his skills. Doc is here purely for, you know, for healing. And um, he's one of your best starter heroes for your team so our next but not the last one is going to be mary so mary belongs to collegium and mary is also a tank so we have tank we have two tanks on the list for you to choose from um she is a tough mother for her first passive when hit plus three defense for three seconds two second cooldown between activation stack up to 10 times um, level 2 increases to 4% defense, stacks up to 5, 15 times for this kill for level 3. Next is going to be his def uh, her defensive posture. For 8 seconds, Mary is immune to crowd control effects and takes 55% less damage. So he has damage reduction and immune to crowd control. Level 2 is going to be 65% damage reduction and level 3 is going to be 75% damage reduction. Um, her ultimate skill is going to be best defense, slams her shield, slamming enemies down with damage equal to 10% defense. Level 2, a 50% defense. Level 3 is going to be 20% and level 4 is going to be 25% defense. We have two tanks in this list. Um, Little Dave specializes more on HP and HP, um, HP regeneration. While Mary actually specializes in defense and uh, damage reduction. So you have two choices from our list. Um, those are the five, right? So Rolo, you have uh, Doc, you have Little Dev, you have Axel, and you have Mary. But we have one honorable mention that I will add to the list, which is Kit. Like Kit is actually also under Sugar Reapers, and he is a rage hero. Okay, so his first uh, passive is going to be a, a Rusty Nail plus 5% attack power in, infects enemy with tetanus during attacks, reducing any healing effects by 50%. So he's a debuffer, so he counteracts uh, healing. Level 2 increases to plus 7.5% attack power, and level 3 is at plus 10% attack power. Okay. Next is going to be his uh, second passive, uh, second spell, a uh, second skill, which is Fight Dirty. Sprays enemies with a substance, temporarily blinding them, causing four, four, minus 40% accuracy for 4 seconds, which means um, your enemies will be missing. 
and reduces accuracy by 50% for level 2. Level 3 is going to reduce accuracy by 60% for level 3. Okay, Chaos is fair. Fires 3 times at random at random enemies. Each shot deals 140% attack power and will pierce to affect other enemies in a straight line. Level 2 increases damage to 210% attack power. Level 3 is at 240 and level 4 is at 270 attack power. Okay, guys. So this is you know uh, a kit actually rounds out your you know five best hero uh, five best starter heroes plus an honorable mention. So anyway, guys, for those of you who have stuck this far this video, please consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to click that bell icon and put a like to this video if you feel that I've helped you through this video. And also, guys, take care, stay safe. This is the warden, and I'm out of here.